Hello everyone, today is 15th of December 2024. Today I'm going to quickly introduce AFMT, the new Apex formatting tool. So we already have Pretty Apex. Why do we need a new one? First of all, uh, Pretty Apex is opinionated tool, right? Uh, it offers really minimum configuration options, while Apex, uh, the AFMT, strives to be more configurable. And the second thing is that um, I think Pretty Apex has uh, different dependencies you need to install. Node.js, you need to have the Pretty package installed, even I think the fundamental parser need the Java. So you need all these tools to be ready in your environment. While AFMT is just a standalone binary, it compiled down to your machine. Uh, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, they are all just one binary file. It can run in your local. And from the performance point of view, it's written in Rust. It's supposed to be fast. If it's not fast, then it's the bug. We should fix the suboptimum performance issues. While in Pretty Apex, it's relatively slower because uh, you know the Node.js, etc. Those dependency layers and the the parser actually use the Java for communication, which is also slows down the performance. So with that out of the way, I'd say Pretty Apex is a really stable and uh, good tool. You can definitely use it if these things don't. Uh, doesn't really matter for you then just keep using pretty apex that's totally fine but for me i think more configuration options a better ways of choose how to format the tools and the speed the dependencies are really uh, neat for myself that's why i think i want to build the tool and give more options to the ecosystem so with that said, uh, let's start the quick demo. So we can go to the latest release page. It has these uh, files to download. They are all the binary files for different OS, yeah, Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. I have already downloaded it uh, in my Windows, for example. If I open it here, you can see AFMT. AFMT. It's already ready to run with this uh, 0.21 version. But I'm not going to demonstrate in my Windows. I have a subsystem, Linux subsystem. I also download the same version here. Here I'm going to quickly introduce uh, in Linux. In Linux, I have like two windows open. I will jump between the two windows. The first window, I will just open my editor to show some Apex code. In the second, in the second window, I'm going to quickly uh, type some command lines just to let you know my environment here. So the first thing I want to say is that uh, if you type uh, AFMT, I download it to the root path, it's not in my system path yet. You can see there are basically two things to do. One is the dry run, it will just print the result. The second is really to format back to the file. So uh, I have this hello file prepared. Um, if I open it here, you can see this is the hello file, really simple one. I just, uh, randomly put put the format in the different ways you can see it's like uh, uh, bad formatted if i now print the result you can see it's nicely formatted and the subquery even is uh, line wrapped into its own sections so if i come back here you can see uh, this this part is uh, formatted so and uh, if i put the w parameter it will really format it back you can see this file, if I switch, it's already uh, nicely formatted. So this is the current feature. And uh, next, I'm gonna just open some, maybe open the tooling files. This is like the large file I downloaded from the ecosystem GitHub repo. It's the 4,000 something files. It's definitely really huge. And you can see there are these uh, command lines at the top. At this moment of time, if I go back to my repo. I have this progress section. You can see the comment note actually are not too well supported. At the moment, they are simply erased. So if I format this file with AFMT, the comments are gone from the file. This is the main reason I say it's not production ready because it will definitely take some of your useful code out, even though it's a comment file so i will just open the screen key so that you know what key i'm typing so i give a, a hot key um, leader 
leader AL, leader AL. You can see it's formatted with the AFMT tool, and it erased all the comments on the top. You see, even though it's formatted now, but it re erased all the the previous one. If I now uh, revert back to the original version, I also have a pretty format, but pretty format it's sl uh, relatively slower. I don't know if it really works. I just FL is the the key, you see there's a timeout, I hit the FL hotkey, it's supposed to run the prettier Apex, but it does not, uh, just because the file is too large, it takes too long to format, and it just timeout, sometimes it will work, but I'm not gonna, perhaps not gonna run it there, I can run it MPX, this, so I run it in the command line, the same file, run it with the prettier Apex, you can see it took 800 something millisecond to finish this, this one. Now if I reload the file, you can see, uh, I think I might miss it. So I didn't save. Okay, so this is saved file. Let's run it. If I go back here, now it is a pretty Apex format. The reason is that the comment is still here and the indentation is too uh, space. I, configured uh, with the two space so that I know it's formatted with prettier. And now if I hit AL to format it again with AFMT, you see it's formatted but uh, removed those comments and the indentation is for empty space. I know it's formatted with AL. So if we go down, you can see I have a visual column here which is uh, 80 uh, characters. Once the line reaches here, it should break. You see, it's nicely indented. Of course, there's a lot of content here. Sometimes there's a little bit of a line because, um, but those are the details. Uh, it's the decision we made to not to do the line breaking. The, the other files, let me open like um, this one. This is also another big one, really big one. You see, 37,000 lines. Uh, if I format it with um, AL, you see again the comments are removed, but it's res relatively fast, even though it's, it's this huge. You see, the line extends to because there are many lines uh, break into the line wrapping, so it extends the the total size. So if I roll back, uh, we can test like uh, uh, what is the meta data? Meta. I think it's this one. If we run it with prettier, you can see it's uh, why it says I think it's already formatted with the prettier this file. So that's why it says unchanged but even though it's unchanged you see it's over a second 1.7 seconds if I format it with AFMT this it's like of 20% of the time used um, if I load the file you see um, we go down there's a lot of content of course um, a lot of things inside but uh, this is how it goes. At the moment, I don't have the uh, comments supported yet, but I'm gonna uh, focus on this to get it ready. Then I should say it's really ready for test. So the future plan is that I'm gonna, uh, it supports the, the configuration file. Like at the moment, I said the indentation has four, max width for the line wrapping is 80 characters. And I have a section dot config. I put some of the configuration options in the future to support here. So this at least is the future roadmap in my opinion. But of course, for such a tool, it really needs a lot of help from the users, for, from you the issues, the discussions, how we should move forward, how do we support multiple options, multiple configurations while not breaking the existing features. There are a lot of things that we uh, need to do differently from pre-tier or 
exposed to, to different challenges comparing to pretty apex so that is all thanks for watching please give me feedback thanks bye bye